October 1st, 2025. NASA is silenced overnight as a federal shutdown erases updates from nearly every screen, just as 3i slash Atlas, only the third interstellar object ever seen, barrels past Mars at 30 million kilometers. Earth's telescopes are blinded by the sun, and now, when the solar system's most alien visitor is in its one and only close pass, America's eyes go dark. Only a handful of orbiters circling the red planet can record the comet's secrets before it vanishes forever. But as data leaks in fragments and official channels stay quiet, the world is left asking, what happened during the blackout, and what did we miss in those critical moments? 15,000 NASA employees are sent home overnight. The agency's public voice, its websites, social feeds, newsrooms, goes silent, replaced by a single static message, operations suspended. For the first time in years, no live updates stream from mission control. No images appear from Mars or the moon. No tweets break down the latest cosmic discovery. The shutdown order, driven by an appropriations lapse in Congress, draws a hard line between what is essential and everything else. Only a skeleton crew, tasked with astronaut safety and planetary defense, stays on the clock. The rest, scientists, engineers, communicators, are locked out of their systems, forbidden from releasing even routine status updates. Social media managers, caught between OMB directives and mission leads, watch as hard-won audiences vanish into the void. In the vacuum left by NASA's silence, rumor and speculation begin to fill the gaps. Official data pipelines freeze, and the world is left searching for any signal in the dark. 3i slash Atlas is not just another comet. Discovered on July 1, 2025, this object carries the rare designation of Interstellar Visitor, the third ever confirmed after 1i slash Oumuamua and 2i slash Borisov. Its path through the solar system is strictly hyperbolic, a mathematical guarantee that it will never return. The trajectory, steeply retrograde and skimming close to the ecliptic, set astronomers abuzz from the moment its orbit was computed. By the time it neared Mars, projections left no doubt. This was a once-in-a-lifetime encounter. The window for observation would be measured in hours, not weeks. Every kilometer traveled by 3i slash Atlas was a kilometer farther from any future study. Unlike periodic comets, there would be no second chance. Its closest approach to Mars, about 30 million kilometers, offered the sharpest possible view before it vanished forever into interstellar space. The urgency was scientific, the opportunity unique, the clock relentless. On October the 3rd, geometry, not politics, draws the curtain. As 3i slash Atlas sweeps past Mars at roughly 30 million kilometers, 0.2 astronomical units, the angle between the comet and the sun, as seen from Earth, shrinks below 10 degrees. For ground-based telescopes, this is a hard limit. Most observatories refuse to risk their optics when a target skims so close to the sun's glare. Even space telescopes in Earth orbit are forced to stand down, locked out by the same relentless geometry. The result? Earth's entire astronomical arsenal is effectively blinded for the duration of the flyby. Only Mars, offset in its orbit by more than 40 degrees, holds an unobstructed view. For a brief window, every data point, every spectral line, every image, must come from machines circling or crawling on the red planet. The scarcity is absolute. In the silence left by Earth's blackout, the burden of discovery shifts to Mars alone. Nine minutes. That's the span of Perseverance's automated sky survey on October 2nd, each frame time-stamped, each pixel scrutinized by mission software. In the middle of this sequence, a faint streak cuts across the Martian sky, 
moving at an angle and speed that defy ordinary explanation. Pixel-by-pixel -pixel analysis suggests a velocity near 60 kilometers per second, precisely matching the projected path of 3i slash Atlas as it skimmed past Mars. The image doesn't come from an official NASA release. Instead, it surfaces in a private astronomy forum, posted by an amateur known online as Astromira. She claims access through a back channel, sharing the raw, uncalibrated frame just hours after acquisition. Her message is blunt. If bureaucracy buries the truth, the public misses history in real time. The post ignites a storm. Debate erupts over authenticity, with skeptics probing for glitches, cosmic rays, or digital ghosts. But the numbers hold up under scrutiny. The streak's direction and timing are no accident. If it's genuine, it's the first direct evidence of an interstellar object captured from Mars. If it's not, the world is chasing a phantom. The only way to settle the question is with corroboration from above. Mars orbiters must now hunt for the same signature before the trail goes cold. Mission teams across three continents scramble for a solution. With NASA's public support channels offline, European, Chinese, and Emirati controllers turn to encrypted chat rooms and backdoor Slack workspaces, digital lifelines built for moments like this. On October 2nd, at 1807 UTC, a tense cross-agency call ends with a single directive. Repoint every available instrument at 3i slash Atlas, no matter the risk to routine schedules. Mars Express pivots its high-resolution stereo camera off the surface. OMEGA's spectrometer is reprogrammed on the fly. And the ExoMars Trace gas orbiter switches from atmospheric sniffing to comet tracking. The UAE's HOPE orbiter slews its ultraviolet spectrograph, while Tianwen-1's imaging suite is redirected far from its usual patrol routes. Each maneuver pushes hardware and software beyond their tested limits, thermal margins squeezed, memory buffers flooded, automated scripts rewritten in real time. In the background, a private Slack channel, nicknamed Mars Side Eyes, becomes an improvised mission control. It's here that a last-minute software patch, shared by an ESA engineer, unlocks a critical pointing mode for Mars Express. Within hours, a multinational fleet is locked on target, capturing the only multi-instrument dataset of an interstellar visitor as the rest of the solar system stands blind. Mars orbits under the watch of a multinational fleet, each spacecraft tuned to a different window of the electromagnetic spectrum. Mars Express, operated by the European Space Agency, brings the high-resolution stereo camera for broad imaging and Omega's spectrometer for visible to infrared scans, ideal for mapping coma structure and hunting for chemical fingerprints in the dust. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, also from the European Space Agency, splits light into thousands of wavelengths with its Nomad and ACS instruments, searching for rare gases and tracking the evolution of the emerald green coma. The United Arab Emirates HOPE orbiter shifts to ultraviolet, with EMUs and EXI capturing the faint glow of carbon and oxygen emissions, while EMIRS sweeps the infrared for thermal clues. China's Tianwen-1 pivots its MIX and OCAM imagers, providing multiband color snapshots and energetic particle readings to probe the plasma environment around the comet. Each instrument fills a spectral niche, visible, infrared, ultraviolet, plasma, layering perspectives that no single telescope could achieve. Together, these Mars side eyes form a composite observatory, their overlapping fields and complementary sensors building the only complete data set on this interstellar visitor as it slips away from the red planet. An emerald haze blooms around 3i slash Atlas, dwarfing Mars itself. Over 700,000 kilometers across, the comet's coma glows with an intensity and color rarely seen in our solar system, 
a vivid, saturated green. Spectral scans from Mars orbiters reveal a chemistry dominated by carbon dioxide, not the water vapor or cyanide that usually paint a comet's shroud. Even after a recent coronal mass ejection, the coma holds steady, its glow undimmed, its plasma environment strangely calm. The numbers defy standard physics. Against all expectation, this interstellar visitor carries an envelope both vast and resilient. A cosmic signature that resists easy explanation. A dust tail should stream away from the sun, pushed by light and solar wind. Yet, from Mars, 3 i atlas displays the opposite, a blade of dust pointing straight toward the glare. Early analysis from Mars Express and Hope Orbiter images suggests this anti-tail is built from grains hundreds of microns across, ten times larger than typical comet dust. Standard models say such grains should quickly fall behind, not lead. Theorists scramble to explain how particles this heavy resist the sun's radiation pressure. Is it mineral makeup, cohesion, or something never seen before. Without calibrated data, the mystery only deepens. Raw data trickles through encrypted channels, but the full story is locked away, archival releases delayed for months by agency protocol and blackout rules. As 3i slash Atlas slips into solar conjunction, only future missions like ESA's JUICE hold hope for new answers. Until then, Every unexplained reading lingers, fueling a growing hunger for the next data drop. On October 1, 2025, NASA's public channels went silent, just as 3i slash Atlas, only the third confirmed interstellar object, approached within 30 million kilometers of Mars. During this blackout, Earth-based telescopes lost sight of the comet, leaving Mars as the sole observation post. The Perseverance rover captured a nine-minute sky survey showing a streak at 60 kilometers per second, matching the comet's predicted path, though its authenticity remains under review. Mars orbiters from four nations executed emergency retargeting, gathering raw data that has surfaced only through unofficial leaks. Despite a severe solar storm, 3i slash Atlas displayed a stable, carbon dioxide-rich emerald coma over 700,000 kilometers wide, and a sunward anti-tail of large dust grains, both defying current comet models. Months will pass before the full, calibrated datasets are released. Key questions. Like the true nature of the Perseverance streak and the cause of the comet's anomalies, remain unresolved. As 3. I slash Atlas slips behind the sun, the search for answers shifts to future missions. For now, the Mars blackout stands as a stark reminder. Sometimes, the universe's most urgent mysteries arrive when our eyes are forced shut. <laughs>